How about a 92 inch projector setup under 25,000 rupees? And I'm not just talking about the projector, I'm talking about the projector, a proper projector screen, proper 4.1 speakers, a Google TV stick, all of that under 25,000 rupees. So you can get a 43 inch 4K TV or at best a 15 inch 4K TV at this price, but screw all of that because this projector setup brings an experience that a TV in this price range just can't match. Look, let's not waste any more time, let's get into detail. So we wanted a projector that's around 10K and we got this one. This is the E-Gate i9 Pro Max projector which by the way is the best selling projector on Amazon. Now this is a 1080p native projector with 4500 lumens of brightness, 420 ANSI, a max projection of 210 inches, 3 watt inbuilt speakers and support for 4K TV sticks. We got this for 10k but during sales this is available at 9k as well. Now we set this up on a table or the C stand we had in the studio but you can hang this on the ceiling using a mount like this that costs around rupees. I also like that this projector has all the controls. You can control the zoom from this knob here, you can control the tilt too. This even comes with a remote so you can zoom in or zoom out using the software in the projector which also lets you do things like change the source. This projector also has all the ports you need, be it HDMI, USB, SD card, everything. For the projector screen, we were looking at options around 6 to 7K and a lot of them were foldable and I was worried about the crease. A lot of screens were also 4 to 3 while we were looking for 16 to 9 screens and as for motorized options, they were just out of the budget. So you know what, we got a pull down projector screen from Inlight that has a size of 92 inches and this is 16 is 9 and setting this up was easy. This has these hooks so we were able to hang it from the ceiling and I love how easy it is to pull it down to use it and when you're not using it you can just hide it away like this so it does not get dirty or anything. This also has a matte finish and these black borders on the corner which add to the experience. Now when it comes to speaker setup, we had a budget of 5 to 6k and speakers from the likes of Sony were very expensive and there were sound bars from Ambrain and Bode but we wanted a multi speaker setup for the best surround sound experience. And for exactly that, we got this 4.1 channel speakers from Zebronix, which has four speakers and a subwoofer with a total sound output of 105 watts. And this cost us 5,000 rupees. This also has all the ports and it can connect to the projector via aux, but we connected it to the TV stick via Bluetooth. Okay, so the last thing to complete our whole projector setup was a TV stick. So Realme's 1080p TV stick cost 2,500 rupees, but we got this 4K one because number one, this has Google TV, which is way better than Android TV on the 1080p one. And second, this costs only 500 rupees more than the 1080p version. So all in all, we we got all of these for a combined total of 24,487 rupees. So right in a budget of 25K. But I know what you're wondering, how is the experience with this whole projector setup? Let me show you. So this is what the setup looks like and honestly, I found the whole experience really good. I mean, if you're a movie buff like me, you are going to love it. First of all, the projection is bright, fairly sharp, viewing angles are good, colors are fairly nice for a projector and that combined with this screen looks really good, especially in a dark room. Movies and shows look sharp and nice. Watching sports on this with a lot of people is a lot of fun. You can see all the details, things like the subtitles, the text in the Google TV OS, everything is clearly visible. And notice that this looks great even with some ambient lights added around. We also tried some gaming on this and as you can see, Miles Morales looks good on this screen. Plus the fact that it's a 92 inch projection, it's almost like a theater in your home. The experience is fantastic. Now I know projectors bring the best quality, the best experience in a dark room and that's a challenge for a lot of people. And it was true for us as well. I mean, we even tested it during daytime and this is usable with all the lights turned off. I mean, our studio has blinds that do not shut totally. So there was some light leakage and the experience wasn't the best. But if you have a room with blackout curtains, you should be good even during daytime. Plus the projector here has different picture modes to choose from and you can even set it to user and customize the brightness, the contrast, the colors and this is actually useful. All of this can be controlled via the remote which only works in certain angles but it gets the job done. The speakers here also adds to the experience. I mean I'm not a big fan of this design, these LEDs but the 105 watt sound output is really really loud and should easily fill a big room. Yes the loudness is really good and the clarity is not the best but for the price it's good enough and not a problem at all. As for the subwoofer it offers a lot of deep bass which a lot of people like because this too comes with a remote so you can control things easily. Now one problem I did have with these speakers is that the wire connecting the speakers here are shorter than expected so I wasn't able to spread it across the whole room. Look all in all at 25,000 rupees this whole projector setup is crazy good because of the massive view you get. Honestly I had no idea that you would get a good projector at 10k and add to that the screen, the speakers, the smart TV stick and this is basically a 92 inch smart TV in disguise. Plus unlike a TV you can always upgrade parts of this whole projector setup depending on your budget or say when you feel like you want a better projector, better speakers or a motorized screen and that's a big advantage. 
Now I know this does not beat a 4K TV in terms of picture quality and you need a dark room for this. But if you've always wanted an entertainment room with you know, loungers, ambient lighting for a really immersive movie experience, this is it. Anyway, I want to know from you, what do you guys think of this projector setup at 25,000 rupees? Comment down below and thanks for watching.